Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yesterday, we of course saw the season four reloaded update drop within Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. And one of the main focuses, at least on the Warzone side, was of course the meta updates, the weapon changes. And in it, we didn't see, uh, you know, a ton of weapon updates. There were some buffs, very few nerfs, which is something I'm going to talk about in this video, but uh, we didn't see like a super, super lengthy list. What we did see, however, was very direct and very specific. And it does sort of indicate that Warzone and the devs behind it, largely Ray seem to be listening a little bit more when it comes to the general community's consensus what they feel about the current meta and especially as of lately the comparisons to the warzone meta now versus warzone one and that's largely inspired because of the car 98k which of course in the update yesterday did end up seeing some nerfs they took away the general aim assist for it and aligned it with the sniper rifle aim assist system which is not really all that noticeable they also did end up adjusting its range and its velocity some which i will say is a little bit surprising because to me, the Car 98K right now in the Warzone meta in general is dominant for, you know, a couple reasons. Yes, it is and was ridiculously good with the aim assist cheese in the close to mid range, but uh, over longer ranges and especially within its one shot range, which previously was 80 some meters, right? Uh, its thing is that, yeah, it can one shot headshot. That's really good inherently, but it's a two shot kill to basically everywhere else on the body until you get out to pretty extreme distances and you happen to hit like a leg or a hand shot. If you hit two stomach shots it's a knock if you hit a leg shot and an arm shot or a leg shot and a torso shot even at some longer distances it's a knock and it's got an incredibly fast rate of fire despite it being bolt action and it has a ridiculously fast reload as well if you're using certain scopes so that in comparison to pretty much every other viable sniper in the game viable meaning the moors and the cat mainly uh both of those our slow fire rate really slow and heavy and clunky with their ads speeds their reloads are not phenomenal right so the car 98k just objectively bests those options everywhere and so while yes the range and the velo nerfs were nice and it's going to bring the car back in line a little bit i don't necessarily think the car nerfs here specifically are what the gun needed to see the most to balance things out however this isn't really the part where i want to focus the majority of the conversation today although it's something i felt like was worth pointing out but i did want to point out more is the fact that really the vast majority of the other changes on this update were to mid to long range guns several rifles ended up getting adjustments and all of these ended up being buffs uh you know we got a battle rifle buff that's solid the smgs yes they all got buffed but that's sort of besides the point today lmgs also all got some slight buffs as well so currently right now if you were to go through and play warzone especially the last couple of weeks from season four onwards what do you run into in game the car 98k maybe the holger 26 here and there and then whatever the sniper support option is that you're pairing with the car 98k right it's just that dominant and people kept making the comparison okay we've got the car 98k now why is it that in warzone one when the car was actually better than it is now because it could infinitely one shot for so long why was the car not an issue then why was it not overpowered then well you have to look at the competition that it was facing back in the day you think of things like the amax the growl uh different rifles like that the m4 so on and so forth Versus now, especially before the Season 4 Reloaded update, it was the Holger 26, the BP-50 kinda, which has a rough DPM, the MTZ maybe a little bit, like their long-range meta, especially lately, has felt very lackluster and very bland. And especially when you compare it sort of one-to-one -one with Warzone 1, you get significant differences. While yes, we have our meta rifles, and we have our meta LMGs, and we had that back in Warzone 1 as well with the Grau and the Amax and the Bruin and whatever else, Back in Warzone 1, we had incredibly low recoil weapons that didn't have these properties of firing aim stability and idle sway like we do on these guns and especially like we do on the MW2 guns. They had higher velocity numbers and in some cases generally better magazine capacity options. You know, we got a lot of mid to long range options that are stuck with fast fire rates and mediocre magazine sizes like the BP-50 or even the MTZ is kind of rough here and there. So uh, the Warzone 1 long range meta was always much more competitive and much more viable and easy to use across the board which means that when you would go up against a car 98k from warzone 1 or an ax50 or an hdr from warzone 1 you were much more well equipped to compete with those weapons over longer ranges because your velo is better the recoil was easier things like that 
whereas now you have a more uh you know refined recoil system that is more complex where it has uh you know idle sway firing aim stability different recoil patterns mw2 weapons visual recoil kind of knocks them out of the uh you know competition there to begin with you have much lower velocity stats and if you want to up that you end up hurting the recoil more so while in theory you could say okay these weapons are more well balanced you actually have to pay attention to your pros and cons the distinctions of the competition is in my opinion very obvious and very significant warzone one yes the car was great so were other one shot snipers but you had so many full auto rifles or lmgs or whatever to counter them that the long range meta was balanced you couldn't say that up until you know a certain point here in warzone 3 where the car is clearly unmatched in the mid to long range meta but Here's where it seems like the devs are starting to listen a little bit more. These comparisons of the Warzone 1 meta versus the current meta have really risen uh, lately. There's been a lot of talk about it. And the main distinction, as I just pointed out, was, hey, these mid to long range options from the rifle category, battle rifles, LMGs, the feeling and the, you know, statistical properties of them at their core, there's a gap there. And what did they end up doing? While well, these aren't super significant buffs, it's a trend in the right direction, in my opinion. Up to the velocity of the Holger up to the velocity of the MTZ, increase the damage on the MCW, we're seeing more buffs. Pretty much every single major meta update up until Season 4 Reloaded was either a large mix of some buffs to very underwhelming weapons or a significant amount of nerfs to more competitive options, or it was just straight nerfs to the competitive options. We didn't see that this time, and that's been a big complaint as of lately. Why do we keep nerfing the top options to make everything feel like a pea shooter instead of finding a top option that we all can agree has a really consistent, not overpowered, but reliable TTK and feel and buff other weapons to match that? And while, yes, we did see things like the DG58 nerfed pretty severely lately, things like the Holger didn't see, the Holger 26, I should say, didn't see significant nerfs for once in this update, and long range options started slowly seeing some slight buffs to the specific categories that we need them to be better with in order to have a healthy but competitive long range meta buffing the velos buffing the damage on weapons that were already really good with damage like the rap age for instance adding in these benefits to weapons that were already competitive enough to make them slightly better and in turn make the entire meta in that niche long range in this instance more competitive across the board now i think that this update in particular is a little bit small as i alluded to earlier a little bit underwhelming in the amount of changes here i think we could have gone even more in on buffing other rifles and other smgs and other lmgs especially some mw3 ones uh even more but it's a sign that yes we're hearing that feedback and it does seem like they're starting to listen a little bit more when it comes to uh the overall meta competition there and the meta breakdown in terms of what's going to give us the most amount of viable fun and unique feeling weapons without having to sacrifice competitive gameplay uh obviously you could use a random mw2 gun if you're content with getting slammed by this mw3 rifle or this uh you know mw3 smg or the car 98k right so this hopefully is a sign of more things to come as we get into season five usually the seasonal launch updates are the most significant for meta updates mid seasons or reloaded updates are decent like this one for instance but not nearly as drastic in terms of just the overall severity of the buffs or the amount of them as well so it'll be curious to see in the coming days and weeks if we see any surprise meta updates and then especially as we get up to season five here towards the end of july I believe I think it's like July 26th or something is season five uh how this trend continues here and if they double down on listening more to the community feedback and bringing in a greater competition with this mid to long range meta or if this was just maybe a one-off hey we're gonna buff these guns slightly and see what happens I think though there's gonna be a lot of positive player sentiment from this personally but that being said it's gonna wrap things up for this one it does seem Warzone is finally listening a little bit more when it comes to the meta competition across the board that's gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed the video if you agree with what I had to say here you want to see more updates like this do me a favor drop a like on the video it does help share it around but also show that this is a shared you know idea a shared consensus from multiple people in the community also if you're new to the channel you want to guarantee you're up to date with everything going on in cod whether it's news updates patch notes meta breakdowns i got you covered with all of that on a daily basis so feel free to hit that sub button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you later peace out